Hey you guys, so I saw this video that Kathleen Lotz just did about what she packs in her travel bag when she goes on trips. Well, I just went on my first brand trip, so I figured I would do the same thing and show you what I took with me. So first off, her bag was all little and cute and stuff. My bag is a trunk. <laughs> So I went on a brand trip with a company that I work with this weekend, Crate Finds, or last weekend. And um, so I had to take a lot of makeup because we were doing all kinds of stuff. We did photo shoots, videos, all that good stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm just going to start out with my brushes. This is not all of them, I don't think, but I think it's close. So the first thing I always take with me is of course brushes to do my makeup and I've got a powder brush, bronzer, you know, all your eyeshadow brushes, I've got blush brushes, <clears throat> and I have this little brush that I use when I do cream contour. And that is the first and most important thing because if you know you don't have brushes, you don't have makeup. So that is what I take with me first and then since I don't want to clean brushes on the go I always take this little clean sweep thing it is so easy you just swirl your brush in it it gets all the color off so you can use your brush in more than one color without getting like blue eyeshadow when you're trying to use red so this is vital to traveling with makeup and then my biggest and most expensive brush I always take my Clarisonic because with this foundation head I get the best and smoothest application of my foundation and when I'm doing photo shoots this is necessary so this goes with me and I also have to be very careful not to break it because this is expensive yes yeah. okay so moving on you also have a beauty blender whatever I also have some little tools I take. You gotta have your eyelash curler. Mine's super cute and it's got rhinestones because I'm me. And mm, what else is down in here? Y'all, this thing is packed. I take some makeup wipes with me, of course, to get everything off once I'm done. And I take, I don't have my razor in here, but that's not important at all. <laughs> So then when it comes to my makeup, uh, what I actually did was I literally sat down with sticky notes and I made a list of every brush I needed and every makeup product I needed to do a full face. And I still feel like I overpacked, but I don't have duplicates of anything in here except like lipstick. So this was everything I needed to do my whole face, all my brushes, I had to be organized. I did add some chapstick in there, but another day, another story. So we have got some lash glue because you got to wear lashes. And of course, I took two pairs of lashes, one pair I have on now, and I took these house of lashes that honestly I didn't even use, but I wanted a backup in case these didn't work out. And I took some nail clippers. And then on to the face, step by step, we have got our primer. I always take my Benefit Professional. This works better than any other primer. It fills in my pores, and when I'm doing photos and stuff, that is just really helpful. I mean, we still got Photoshop, and we still use it, but the Professional takes out a little bit of the work. And then I take my Holy Grail Foundation. This is my Estee Lauder double wear it is my absolute favorite it is super matte great for oily skin and it stays all day long and it is so full coverage i don't have it on right now i have on a different one that i'm testing out but this is my holy grail and if i'm going to be traveling this is always what goes with me along with my favorite holy grail shape tape because you have got to have a good concealer because that is the most important part of your makeup because your girl's got dark circles and I need concealer. Then I take my favorite um, highlight and contour set, my Tartiste Pro Glow. And the main one I use in here is this cream contour. But sometimes if I don't have anything else, I'll definitely dip into the highlights as well. Um, then we have got bronzer. 
I took two bronzers with me. I took my Hula bronzer, everybody's favorite, and I also took my Physician's Formula, and I wasn't careful enough because I broke it. Like, moment of silence, but thank God that's not expensive, that's drugstore, so I can go repurchase one, and I will, I just haven't done it yet. <clears throat> And then, because I couldn't find my favorite blush palette, I took my second favorite. This came out of a boxy, and this is the Real Her blush set they sent out a while back. So I took that with me, along with some setting powder that I also got in Boxy Charm, because I was afraid my Cody Airspun would spill everywhere, and that one's got a slightly more reliable container. And I took my other concealer. I really I like this one if I'm just going to work or something but I use this when I do cut creases which I, I did not actually do this weekend but in case I did I took this with me and then moving on to some eyes we have got my Urban Decay eyeliner this is my absolute favorite to put in my waterline doesn't stay all day nothing in your waterline does but it stays well definitely good quality and I took my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is my favorite mascara. Always looks good. Separates. Gives a little length. Not too much volume, but that's okay because I just pop falsies on over it anyways. And then we have got my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. If you can't tell, I really love this. It is the absolute best eyeshadow primer I have found. And it's not intended to be an eyeshadow primer, but it works for it. So that's what I use. And then I have got, of course, some eyeshadow. And this always changes depending on what the trip is for. But since this trip was for Crate Finds, the only eyeshadow I took that wasn't Crate Finds is I took this Soiree Diaries palette from BoxyCharm just so I could have some good transition colors because Crate Finds doesn't have transition colors out yet. But I think they will soon. And then I took all my Crate Finds eyeshadows. So, of course, I took my Chase the Sunset palette right here, which I used one day. And then I took all of my single shadows, which is what I primarily used. Um, these two, I'm the only one who has those. Those are testers, but all the rest of these are available on the website. And I took this with me to do my makeup since I was doing photo shoots for them. Of course, I had to wear their products totally cool because their products are my favorite anyways <clears throat> and then I also took some glitters with me I took these and a gold one so that if I decided to do glitter I had glitter I didn't do glitter but I had it like I said I overpacked a little um, I also took because they were hiding from me I took a gold eyeliner for my waterline if I wanted to widen my eyes and then I took my wing stamp liner and a thinner liner, both from Crate Vines, um, just so that I could get my wing going and get it popping like I needed to. And because the wing stamp liner is one of Crate Vines' best products, hands down. They're all incredible, but that one is life-changing. If you love makeup, you need it. And I also took some Stila glitter with me. This is the only not Crate Vines product I really used on my eyes just because the glitter in that is so convenient to put on. It was a lot easier to use than loose glitter because that's not going to flake off or go anywhere. And I'm still trying to talk them into some loose glitter or into some liquid glitter eyeshadows. Put it in the comments and maybe I can talk them into it quicker. And then for highlight, I took my three holy grails because before I left, I didn't have any Crate Finds highlighter. So I took uh, Shimmering Swan Glimmers of BS from Pretty Vulgar. I took my Champagne Pop by Becca because who doesn't love that one? I think that was everybody's holy grail. And then I took this limited edition Nicole Guerrero palette because every color in here but like ooh, what these two works really good for me I use these two the most but I took this with me because it is super blinding and is easy to travel with like the formula doesn't break easy and I took some glitter glue and then last almost last but not least I had to be extra and my mom helped me pack because yes I'm a child and she about lost it 
when she saw how many lipsticks I took with me for a four day trip. I took every lipstick Crate Finds has made, which I usually do because I can never decide which one I want to wear. So I just took them all and I took oh, I took my nude beach and if y'all order Crate Finds you know there's an issue with some of them and they were broken. And mine was totally fine until I got there on my trip and I put it on and I went to close it and it snapped and I cried. But that's okay. I'm going to get a new one as soon as the new stock comes in. And then the actual last thing I took was my all-nighter setting spray because I was out in the desert doing photo shoots and it got really hot so I needed my makeup to stay in place. The only other thing I did not take with me but I came back with it is this liquid highlighter from Crate Finds. It is on the site now for five dollars. Only one color is sold out right now. I don't know when this video is going up so they might all be gone but there's a new order going in and this is what it looks like. Definitely worth the buy but I came back with that in my makeup bag and I was so excited. But that is everything that I take with me when I travel. At least when I travel a lot I usually end up with more than that but I was trying not to take too much stuff because we had a car full of people and I couldn't have more than one bag. <laughs> so that is what I take. That's basically my full face of makeup and all the products I needed to do all my photo shoots over the trip. And yeah, so that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoy and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.